is convincing many teachers in Illinois to retire. 566 teachers retired from July through September. That's up 45 percent. That's compared to that time period last year. The Illinois Education Association says this is happening at a time when many school districts are already dealing with teacher shortages. So what does that mean for your students and districts struggling to find more teachers? Well, we are joined by Dave Urbanik, who is the Director of Communications for the Teachers Retirement System for the state of Illinois. Dave, thanks for being with us. We said 45% in the last five years, according to the TRIB, that's 365 and 397. That is the range of teachers who normally leave 566. Is that ringing the alarm bells here across the state of Illinois? It certainly is. Uh, we were, have been watching the numbers all year, and our retirement season is usually January through June. It coincides with the end of the last school year. We were very surprised to see the numbers jump up in July, August, and continue on into September, and actually they're continuing on into October as well. Um, all of this coincided with school districts uh, making final decisions on how they were going to start the 2020-2021 school year. And uh, anecdotally, what we're hearing from teachers is that uh, uh, a lot of them decided that those plans didn't mix with their plans. And, and I'm assuming it's because of COVID-19, right? That's what they're telling yeah. us. We don't record why teachers retire, but they do talk to our counselors and that's what they're saying. Well, well, my question is, these are obviously seasoned teachers who are retiring, who've been in the business for quite a while. So what does this mean for teachers, you know, coming on board, less seasoned teachers, especially now? Well, because of the teacher shortage, there always has been a, uh, a wealth of jobs available in Illinois for teachers. Um, what we're seeing, though, is not... It, teachers are, are retiring and deciding to retire, but they're all within retirement range, if you will. Uh, it's not like people are in the middle of their careers or just getting up and, and leaving the profession. Uh, it does mean more opportunity for, uh, uh, for newer teachers coming on, uh, and especially at a time when uh, the General Assembly and, and Governor Pritzker pass legislation to, in a few years, make the minimum salary for new teachers at $40,000 a year. Okay, I know, I know your, your goal is to represent the teachers who are, you know, transitioning out of the system, but how do you go about, you know, filling that gap now? I mean, it, it's, it's easy to say, well, let's go on a hiring blitz, but I, I'm guessing that that's not as easy as it sounds. It's something that the state and uh, the, the uh, organized labor unions that, that represent the teachers have been struggling with for a number of years. Uh, the General Assembly and the governor passed legislation a few years ago that makes it easier for retired teachers to step into some of those jobs on a, on a part-time basis. And they've recently extended uh, those uh, the, the end of the work limitations for, uh, for retired teachers. But it's uh, just a, a problem attracting teachers into the profession. Uh, I know that universities around the state and uh, school districts are, are having a tough time uh, recruiting teachers. Well, good luck, Dave, and good luck to all the teachers here and uh, for the new ones who are looking for jobs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Be safe. Be well.